Today what we're going to do is we're going to format this document. Yeah, yes we are. And um, I'm going to just format it and talk through it as I'm doing it and then you're going to do the same. You can either do it with me or you can watch the whole video and then do it later on your own afterwards. First things first, we are already familiar with the ribbon in Microsoft Word. We've got all of our tabs at the top and we are familiar with the groups underneath. We're going to use our styles to format the basics first of all. So I'm going to choose the seven different types of social media and I'm going to make that heading one. There's heading one over there. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to make social networking sites number one. All of those little subheadings I'm going to make heading two. So there's number one, there's number two, Okay, there's number three and you're probably thinking like can't I do this all in one go and actually you can so watch this I'm going to select uh, Number four and you see how I did that. Okay, I went like to the end or the beginning of the row and It changes to an arrow and I click and it selects everything but now watch this I'm um, there's number five I go back there but now hold down your control key bottom left hand side of your keyboard control click and it now selects them both so now we can go ahead and select the rest all in one go okay and I think seven is the last one and now when I go to heading two click on heading two every one of them that I've selected have now been changed so that's actually saving a bit of time so you can work that way as well next what we're going to do um, back to the top back to the top right what are they and how can smart marketers blah 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 select that paragraph and let's italicize that. Now watch what happens when I select and I let go of the mouse button. I have this little toolbar that pops up. You can use that for quick instant access and we can italicize it there or you can go to your font group over here and italicize it there. You, you decide what you want to do. So let's make that italics as well. Good, good, good. Now we're going to keep going and let's see here. So how can social networking sites help your business? Let's make that line bold. A couple of ways, click and drag or just click in the front and there you go. Control B, Control B, keyboard shortcut for bold. If you forget the keyboard shortcuts and you don't remember Control B, select it and there's bold. Okay, and you can actually see it, it I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't, I'm pointing at the screen. Uh, it actually says bold, Control plus B. All right, there we go, perfect. Let's go down a little bit more and here we have two words. One is called network, one is called research. I want you to make them bold and change the font color to blue, please. Blue, this one is blue. If you hold your mouse long enough over something, normally a tool tip of some kind pops up. So have a look here. Um, if we go here and we go to the font colors over there and I go to this blue, you'll see it actually says blue accent one. That's not the blue that I want. I want this blue down here, which is just blue. There we go. And I want to do the same with this one. Now, this is another very, very cool tool. And I think I've shown you this before, but have a look. It's called the Format Painter. I want the word research to have the same formatting as the word network. So I go ahead and click in my word network, just anywhere in the word network or you can select it, it's up to you. And I go up here to where it says Format Painter. I click on Format Painter and you'll notice that I've got this little paintbrush next to my, my eye beam, okay, or the mouse cursor. That means I've now copied the formatting of what I clicked on and I can now apply that formatting to something else. So I'm gonna apply it to the word Research. You can click and drag or just click on the word Research. Done. So that is a big, big time saver, all right? Format Painter. Go for it. Let's see what's next. Ah, here we go. Businesses. Businesses can really benefit from studying their reviews. It helps them and you'll see there's a colon. That implies that these two are bullet points. So let's make them bullet points. I'm going to do it the easy way and the quicker way. Just select both of those two paragraphs. Go up to your paragraph group here and you'll see there is bullets. So just click on bullets. Boom. We got bullets. All right, that was actually pretty easy. There's another one down here. Let's see here. Um, community blogs, where was it? Where was it? It was before number four. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I went a bit too far. Again, 
and here you can see we have a picture can be worth a thousand words to your business use these sites to encourage and then create these two again bullet points so let's do the same thing or you could use that format painter that we used before it'll do exactly the same thing so I'm going to select them and bullet points done nice and easy let's see what else we can do go down to video hosting and we've got engage YouTube you know what let's take this and let's highlight that one there engage let's highlight that paragraph let's make it bold italic underline like let's just go crazy yes cool that was easy and what else there's another bullet point but uh, we'll ignore that one and we've done italics we're all good fantastic so that's basic formatting of text and paragraphs let's go back up to the top now and we're going to do two more things we're going to make sure that the page setup is correct as an A4 document we're also going to make sure that our margins are set to narrow so we get more content on our pages and it's very easy to do that we go to layout so click on layout here we have margins and here we have size so let's first change the page size click on size and yours might say letter like mine so let's go down I've got A4 over here. A4 is 21 centimeters by 29.7. Click A4. The margins are now automatically adjusted to, and the size is adjusted to page A4. And go to margins. And let's, at the moment, it's on normal. I want you to change it to narrow, narrow margins. So we click narrow, done. Your document should look something like this. Okay, that's the plan. I hope it does. Okay, if not, just rewind, pause, go ahead and check that you formatted it the same way as me. When it's time to save this document, go and hit the Save button or Control S on your keyboard. Okay, let's have a look what options we have for saving. Oh, mine's already saved. Okay, you're going to open it up here and you're going to go Save As. We'll browse for a location. And let's just, I'm going to just pop this on my desktop for the moment that's probably the easiest place and uh, let's give it a name so you know what type in your surname and call it social media document form work that's three T's formatting your surname hyphen social or dash social media document formatting if you could save it like that just save it in your OneDrive please in your OneDrive create a folder for yourself called tasks and put it in there and then you can put that into your OneNote document. And there you go. Save and done.